I think I lost track in uploading all my videos and um, well what do you know I just so happened to discover this place just close by in my hotel and I said why didn't I try this place well let's see And um, well, what do you know, I just so happened to discover this place just close by in my hotel and I said, why didn't I try this place? Well, let's see. It is a real deal restaurant, guys. And for me, I would say I will definitely come back in here because there's a lot of choices. So for the food choices, you have two varieties. You have the Korean and the Japanese. And over on this side is the Japanese where you can see ramen. And I was already drawn into the ramen. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, she brought me some of my first stuff for my orders here. And I guess this is the picture of the bibimbap, right? No, it's a different one. Galbi. No, that's Korean. Galbi. Oh. Bibimbap is... Sorry, that's fine. This one, sorry. That one is really bad. Oh, okay. I really like that. It's good. Right. I'm in the mood for food cravings this time. So this is. Oh my God, guys. The pictures are amazing. This is a must-try place here if you're really aiming for something Asian. So the baby bop. And you know what? I feel like I'm just overfeeding myself tonight. But what the heck, this is my food vlog and I'm just bringing to you guys different options here in Fort Myers. So that is the bibimbap and I'm also ordering Japanese ramen. So here comes the other sides. I have miso soup <laughs> and I have also a salad which always comes with all the Korean dishes. They also offer desserts here if you're wondering like if you gonna come here for a real dinner with the full menu you can also have some ice cream, uh, lychee mango and all those uh, desserts. But guys there are so many options here if you are also into sushi, vegetable, there's a lot of option and choices that you can choose from. is with a warm soup okay just right That's the best thing to start on a big meal for us Asian having like something warm in the stomach. As you can see, I haven't prepared for this vlog because of, I'm still in my uniform. I just came out of work actually. But I really want to try 
thing in this baby mop for hearing stuff. Egg, ear, and you've got the teeth. I, I didn't even bring my tripod. Okay. We're gonna dig into this. So it's hot. It's really hot. It's smoking hot. I'm gonna wait for it a little bit. The smell is good. It does not disappoint me. <laughs> I say one bite is not enough. It's really best to eat it while it's hot, while the meat is still tender and soft. Okay. All right. So the second part is my ramen and here you are oh my god look at this guys is this a food for a single person i don't think so well definitely i have enough food for tomorrow and tonight and probably for my breakfast Yum, yum, yum. So here it is now, my ramen is here and it's a complete set. Of course, a ramen is not a ramen without an egg, noodles, and it is full packed with uh, pork strips and lots and lots of noodles this guys is a complete set of meal this alone can really satisfy your hunger in one setting so i'm gonna try the noodle and the meat as well <laughs> I'd say this is a lighter ramen not that I say it's not good what I mean is the last one I've tried for ramen is really concentrated raw this one is a much lighter if you're not into something like um, a greasy meaty kind of broth if you want a lighter broth this one is good a friend of mine once went with me and um, you know there are different ways of cooking ramen and different ways of, uh, of their broth. I have this one as an option. I just wanted like a, a lighter broth. And this one is good. I mean this is something I might be coming back for you know on a rainy night. Or when my stomach is not well, this is something to try. Mm. <laughs> well guys, I am just silently uh, chewing my food slowly here before I drown in everything that I have in front of me. And I was wondering okay this is the sauce right if you want something spicy and i was wondering what's this thing doing in front of me i thought it was just like a sauce saucer thing and when i open it lo and behold extra rice <laughs>
Now, do you think I need some extra rice with all these carbohydrates in front of me? Well, it's not good to refuse rice in front of you. For us Asian, it's it's a bad luck to refuse rice, okay? But I love the vibes here. I love it. it's so relaxing. to visit here in Fort Myers. It's a secret place just close by the golf course hospital and I'm gonna link down the link below for you so that you can search all this uh, place here and if you're craving for something Korean and Japanese menu and this is a place that you should visit here in Fort Myers. So final verdict? Yes, it's a must to go place. And I think I'll be coming back in here and doing more vlogs too. Well then, see you on the next vlog, guys.